Hey Linux enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the age-old debate that has intrigued Linux users for years, Linux Mint versus Ubuntu for beginners. If you're new to the Linux world and wondering which distribution is the right fit for you, you're in the right place. We've got seven compelling reasons why Linux Mint might just be the better option for you. Stick around and let's explore the world of Linux together. But first, roll that intro. Our journey begins with memory usage. Linux Mint, featuring the Cinnamon desktop, takes a notable lead over Ubuntu's GNOME in terms of lower memory consumption. This distinction makes Linux Mint a more lightweight and responsive choice, especially for those with older configurations or limited resources. Let's take a closer look at the numbers. Sure, you could install Cinnamon on Ubuntu, but today we're focusing on default desktop environments. Let's move on to our next point, Now let's talk about the heartbeat of any Linux distribution, the Software Center. Linux Mint's Software Manager outshines its counterpart in Ubuntu. It's faster, sleeker, and lighter, providing users with a snappier and more efficient overall experience. Linux Mint's Software Manager wins this round hands down. But wait, there's more. Managing software sources is a critical aspect of any Linux distribution. Linux Mint goes above and beyond, offering features like the ability to remove foreign packages, add missing keys, and eliminate duplicate entries. These additional options provide a more comprehensive and user-friendly experience compared to Ubuntu. It's all about making the journey smoother for Linux beginners. Now let's talk about customization. Linux Mint takes the lead in the customization game. Unlike Ubuntu, Mint lets you change themes directly from system settings without the need for extra tools. Plus, it offers a wide range of community themes, making personalization a breeze. And don't get us started on applets and desklets. Linux Mint's got you covered. So if you're into out-of-the-box customizability, Linux Mint might just be your perfect match. Now let's tackle multimedia and default applications. Linux Mint makes life easier with its straightforward approach to codecs and default applications. While Ubuntu offers the Ubuntu Restricted Extras package, Linux Mint presents codec options directly in its software manager, simplifying the process for users. It's all about convenience, right? Now let's talk about the longevity of support. Both Ubuntu and Linux Mint provide five-year system updates, but here's the catch. With Ubuntu, you only get five years for the GNOME edition. Linux Mint, on the other hand, offers five years across all desktop choices, including Cinnamon, Mate, and XFCE. More choices without compromising support. Another win for Linux Mint. Now let's touch on a hot topic. Snap Store, a useful tool for some but not everyone's cup of tea. Linux Mint takes a stand by disabling the Snap Store by default, providing users with an alternative approach. If you prefer to steer clear of snaps, Linux Mint might align better with your preferences. So, there you have it, seven reasons why Linux Mint might be the better choice for Linux beginners. But hey, personal preferences matter and both distributions have their strengths. Whether it's Mint or Ubuntu, the Linux world awaits your exploration. What's your take on this eternal debate? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon for more Linux goodness. Until next time, happy Linuxing!